Hi, I'm Dr. Najib Abdul Hamid from Jigawa State Polytechnic Dusi in Jigawa State, Nigeria. I'm a Google Certified Trainer and Innovator. I'm going to answer how can I create collaborative work for students which relate to planning and prep in Google Classroom. This is so important because collaborative work makes learning more engaging and exciting. It also helps students to develop social skills, build trust, and gain confidence. I will share a simple way to create collaborative work for student learning from home or school using Google Classroom. I will also demonstrate how to share documents where learners can brainstorm ideas, give and receive their feedback, co their research and present their finding in a project-based learning activity. Following that, I will illustrate how to share a group to differentiate for selected students' groups. Step number one, share a collaborative document to group of students. Go to class work tab and click on create blue button. A dialogue box will appear. Then click on assignment. Once you click on assignment, a new interface will pop up where you are going to put the title, the instruction, add or create resources. In this video, we are going to share resources for a group project on misinformation to two teams. For the first group, let us call it Team Alpha and give the assignment the name of the group and add manipulated content in brackets. Next, I could put in the instruction to inform the student that their work is to focus on manipulated content as one type of misinformation. Having work on the title and instruction, we can now add resources using Google Drive. To do so, we click on Add button, then go to Google Drive. A new interface will pop up with four options where a user can upload document. In this video, we are going to use Start option to attach three documents related to misinformation project. This document includes a slide deck for presentation, a Jamboard for brainstorming, as well as Google Docs for collaborative answering. Once you select the document, then you click on Insert, then you change the file permission to student can edit the file. Step number two, assigning group work to group of students. Simply go to the sidebar of the assignment interface and deselect all students. Then select student in the appropriate group. In this video, we are going to select Adriana, Aleandro, and Andrea for Team Alpha. As you can see, three students have been assigned to Team Alpha to work on manipulated content as one type of misinformation project. Next, I will put in the point, the due date, the topic, and possibly select a plagiarism checker. Next, we need to repeat that step for the next group. So let us create another assignment. File naming is essential here. You want to keep track of what group it is for each assignment, and then only the student assigned that group work will get the assignment. This way, you can differentiate and keep track of that personalization in your view of Google Classroom. We now learned a simple way to create collaborative work for students using Google Classroom. We also know how to assign group work to group of students. Thanks for watching.